In these clips, we see U.S. naval ships firing on Japanese kamikaze attackers. At a range of around 5 miles, the ship's defensive 5-inch dual-purpose guns will open up and be the first of three armaments the ships will use to fire on the attackers. The ship's defensive fire is well choreographed from the long and medium-range 5-inch guns, medium-range 40mm Bofors, and short-range 20mm Orlikens. The intent of this video is to review the U.S. Navy's 5-inch 38 caliber dual-purpose guns, anti-aircraft projectiles used, their time and proximity fuses, and the gun's overall combat effectiveness. In a future video, we will cover the gun's fire control system and directors and combat tactics. This video is the channel's fifth video discussing U.S. Navy anti-aircraft guns, including the 20mm Orlikin, 40mm Bofors, iron sight use, and the Mark 14 computing gun sight. The shift in U.S. Navy ship-based anti-aircraft armaments is clearly shown on this illustration from a 1945 U.S. Navy Ordnance document. The battleship Nevada's anti-aircraft guns in December 1941 consisted of eight 50 caliber machine guns, four 3-inch 50 caliber dual-purpose guns, and eight 5-inch 25 caliber dual-purpose guns. Dual-purpose implies that guns can be used for both surface and air engagements. The 50 caliber guns lacked adequate gun sights, range, and punching power. The dual-purpose guns lacked to adequate anti-aircraft fire control. All these types of guns were replaced as the war progressed. As of March 1945, the ship's anti-aircraft armaments consisted of 40 20mm guns, 32 40mm guns, and 16 5-inch 38 caliber dual-purpose guns. This page lists the changes the U.S. Navy made to increase the ship's defensive armament against aircraft from a 1945 anti-aircraft summary report. Increase in radar detection and ranging for the 5-inch dual-purpose guns. Increase the number of 5-inch 38 caliber guns and reduce or eliminate the number of 5-inch 25 caliber guns production of proximity fuses for the 5-inch projectiles. The impact of these four modifications were covered in detail in the channel's video shown earlier. This table from a 1944 Naval Operations document outlines characteristics of various Navy anti-aircraft guns. The 5-inch 38 caliber gun's barrel length is 190 inches. This value can be ascertained by the 5-inch 38 caliber designation. Its 5-inch inner barrel diameter times 38 equals 190 inches. Maximum elevation 85 degrees, maximum vertical range 33,000 feet, maximum horizontal range 54,700 feet, minimum gun crew size of 11, muzzle velocity of 2,600 foot per second or Mach 2.3, theoretical rate of fire is 15 rounds per minute, weight of one full round 82 pounds, projectile fusing is either timed or proximity. Additional 5-inch 38 caliber gun characteristics are shown on this page from a 1957 naval gunnery document. The guns use semi-fixed ammunition where the projectile's weight is 54 pounds, propellant case weight 28 pounds, and the propellant is a 15-pound powder charge. This page from a 1959 U.S. Navy ammunition document outlines the type of gun ammunition. This includes fixed, semi-fixed, and bag type. 5-inch 38 caliber guns use semi-fixed ammunition where the 38-pound propellant cartridge and 54-pound projectile projectile are stored, handled, and loaded into the gun separately. The practical rate of fire is 15 rounds per minute for an experienced crew, and in a pinch can make 22 rounds per minute. This is roughly the rate of fire for a soldier firing a bolt-action rifle. This page shows the built-up of a complete round as of February 1946, including the Mark 13 primer, Mark 5 cartridge case, which holds 15 pounds of propellant, and the various projectiles and fuses. The anti-aircraft round is either the Mark 31, 34, or 35, and the fuse is either timed or proximity. To load the complete round, the powder man removes the powder case out of its container and places a 28-pound propellant case on the loading tray. The projectile man places a projectile forward of the propellant case on the loading tray. The projectile man then pulls the ramming lever, sending the projectile and propellant case home. After the gun is fired, the spent hot case is ejected through the ejection chute. This page from a 1947 Explosives Ordnance document outlines characteristics and a cutaway of the 5-inch 38 caliber gun's Mark 34 anti-aircraft projectile. The projectile's overall length is 20.7 inches, diameter 4.97 inches, and its weight equates to 55 pounds when filled with 7.25 pounds of an explosive fill. That's 3.8 times the explosive fill of the German 88mm anti-aircraft gun's projectile's explosive fill. Its fuse is either mechanically timed or proximity. If a proximity if a proximity fuse is used, then no tracer is used. 
Cutaways of the 55-pound projectile with its 7.25 pounds of explosive fill, nose fuse, and tracer element if required. The projectile's 28-pound cartridge, primer, and 15 pounds of propellant. This page from a 1947 Explosives Ordnance document outlines characteristics and a cutaway of the Mark 18 timed fuse. This fuse was adopted for the 5 inch 38 caliber anti aircraft projectiles. Time of flight to detonation can be set between 0.6 and 45 seconds. This page outlines characteristics of the Mark 40 Proximity or VT fuse. The fuse is used with the 5 inch 38 caliber anti aircraft projectile. The fuse is 12 inches in length with a weight of 6.8 pounds. The fuse is armed 700 to 900 yards from the gun. It will detonate the projectile when within 70 feet from the plane. This page shows a miniaturization of the components which allowed the manufacture of these fuses. Neither Germany nor Japan deployed proximity fuses during World War II. These fuses were not used on the Bofors 40mm or 20mm Orlikan projectiles. We will discuss considerations in the selection of either a timed or proximity fuse in a future video. This chart outlines the type and number of 5 inch 38 caliber projectiles manufactured during the war. Around 95% of the projectiles were the anti aircraft type. The remaining 5% were surface and or star shell types. The 5 inch 38 caliber guns saw limited surface action as compared to their anti aircraft action. This table from a 1944 Naval Ordnance document outlines ballistic parameters of the 5 inch projectile. The key columns are the range and time of flight. The open fire range of the guns is 1200 yards, where the projectile's time of flight is 28 seconds. The U.S. Navy's 5 inch 38 caliber gun is most similar to the German 128 mm large flat gun. These are mounted on flak towers or on rail cars, like seen in this image from a 1945 German flak defense document. The 128 mm guns also have a 5 inch inner diameter barrel. Rate of fire is slower at 8 to 10 rounds per minute. Its projectile weight is around the same at 55 pounds, and its explosive fill is the same at around 7.5 pounds from a 1945 German explosives ordnance document. This page lists the four types of gun mounts from a 1944 Naval Gunnery Manual, enclosed twin guns with a dedicated handling room like seen in this image. These would be used as secondary batteries on battleships, for example. The gun's house shield thickness varies from 3 fourths of an inch for cruisers to 2.5 inches for battleships. Each gun turret has a gun house, upper handling room, and lower handling room. The lower handling room stores some magazines and projectiles. These are vulnerable targets for torpedoes and bombs. This page lists the roles of the 27 crew members and their location within the gun house, upper handling room, and lower handling room. We can show the number of crewmen within each room. The location and roles of the six crew manning the upper handling room. The ready service projectiles ring the room with the ready service powder cartridges in these storage boxes. The projectile and powder cartridges are transferred up to the gun house by these powder and projectile hoists. This image shows a top view cutaway of the 14-man crew twin gun mount. The projectile and powder cartridges are transferred to these hoist locations from the upper handling room. There's also enclosed single guns with a dedicated handling room like seen in this image. These would be used on destroyers. Open single mount with handling room, no blast shield enclosure like in this image. An open single mount without handling room, no blast shield enclosure like seen in this image. These would be used on merchant ships. Twin mounts are found on battleships, heavy cruisers, and carriers. Single mounts are found on smaller ships like destroyers, escort carriers, light cruisers, auxiliaries, and merchant vessels. The guns are traversed and elevated by power-driven electric motors, 40 horsepower for azimuth and 7.5 horsepower for elevation. Dual guns both elevate at the same level. The guns are usually automatic or local controlled by radar or an optical gun director. There's manual backup hand wheels which can be used if the automatic system is unoperative. This image shows the elevation and train gearing system for the twin mount guns with the traverse hand wheel here and elevation hand wheel here. The gun's elevation range is between minus 15 and plus 85 degrees. Its automatic rate of travel is 34 degrees per second in azimuth and 18 degrees per second in elevation. This slows down to a speed of 4 degrees per second for manual control. This clip shows a factory dual mount gun in automatic transverse and elevation. This chart outlines the four types and number of 5 inch 38 caliber gun mounts produced from 1940 through 1945, where the Mark 37 merchant ship mount was the most produced. 
3,600 of these types of guns were produced, and these armed ships were credited with shooting down 234 Axis planes. U.S. merchant ships were better armed than some World War I warships. The Navy considered the 5-inch 38 caliber dual-purpose gun as the most outstanding naval gun of World War II. Over 8,000 guns were mounted on ships for a cost of $800 million. Navy crewmen said the 5-inch 38 caliber guns had a reputation to do anything but shoot straight down, had a range of 10 miles, ceiling of 6 miles, and could fire 12 to 15 rounds per minute. It was considered the best long-range anti-aircraft gun of World War II. This table lists the World War II combat performance of Navy ship anti-aircraft weapon systems. The 5-inch 38 caliber time-fused and proximity-fused projectiles were credited with shooting down 689 enemy aircraft, or 30% of the total. Gun shooting the time-fused projectiles expended 654 rounds per bird, while the proximity-fused guns expended a low 340 rounds per bird. Rounds per bird is a measure of the effectiveness of the projectile. If you have found this 5-inch 38 caliber gun video interesting and informative, please consider commenting, liking, and or subscribing to World War II U.S. Bombers.